स्टैंड टुगेदर कोई दिक्कत नहीं पता नहीं जो धरी राय सो भारी राय नथिंग टू डू नो वे टू गो देखो सुनो मत बोलो All of you chant loudly. This is the Mahamantra. Life is a time pass. Kya farak padta hai? Koi dikkat nahi, pata nahi. Jo dhari rai so bhari rai. Nothing to do. सुनो मत बोलो श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम देर इज द चाइल्ड गर्ल इन मुंबई and as all children she is also lazy doesn't want to wake up early morning and go to school so it's every day same problem the mummy will go and wake up not now not now and finally the mother becomes very angry you have to go to school if you don't go the child says kya farak padta hai and sleeps all the tension of the house gone see friends mantra means what manana trayate that when you reflect upon it will protect you be attentive it will protect you from yourself see if i am frustrated because of mr x i'll go away But if I am fed up of myself, where will I go? Jau to jau kaha? See friends. Therefore, these mantras, if you keep on reciting again and again, sometime it will come to your help. I guarantee you, because they are not difficult to understand. I will tell you one mantra. You tell me what you understood. Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam. पूर्वाकमीव बंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता बड़ा अनलेस द मीनिंग हैपन्स इन अवर हार्ट वी आर नॉट बेनिफिटेड न ही आर दीज आर व्हेरी सिंपल बट समाउ इट हैज हैपन लाइक दिस दैट लाइक यू नो माय लोगो दोज यू हैव सीन इट इज अ हैप्पी मैन On the top, be happy. At the base, mauj be raho. On the basis of this, one uh, elderly, very gambira than the brand type of person, he told me, "Mami ji, see, normally the logos are having nice, you know, there is a sunrise, 
rays are coming, Satyajitra, and then there are, you know, the swans, and there are, there is a lotus, and something is written in Sanskrit which nobody understands. What is this kind of your um, logo? I said, do you mean the meaning of logo? Logo is ke liye hota hai? Logo ke liye. So, what is there for you to understand? Be happy. Over. The very purpose God has created us that we should become an instrument of happiness. Because yesterday I told you, whatever we do or we don't do, what for we do everything? For happiness. Has anybody ever married to get miserable? I don't know further. See? Therefore, again and again, insist that you are happy. If somebody makes a mistake, uh, Babaji, how are you? Bato, bato, batata. And then you start Mahabharat. See, friends, therefore, this will be completely summarized in our, this Sadhana Panchakam. The last verse I am reading, please repeat after me. Ekante Sukham Asyatam Paratare Chetas Samadhi Yatam Purnatma Susamikshatam Jagadidam Tadbadhitam Drishatam Prakarma Pravilapyatam Chitibalat Naputare Shlishatam Prarab Dantu Habujata Matapara Brahmatmanasti Yatam So Shitoshnadi Vishay Yatam, Naturutha Vakyam Samuchar Yatam. Life is full of all the contradictions you have to go through. There is no option. Accept it. And natu vrutha vakyam samucharita. No unwanted discussions and talks. There are few topics which will only disturb you. One is politics. Second is neighbor. Third is your children. Fourth is your relations. See, these are the topics which will destroy you. You might talk about it. The highest spiritual practice I tell you and guarantee you will not do it. Don't talk about your past. And don't ask anybody about their past. Whenever we talk to others, we talk about the past. And whenever we talk to ourselves, we talk about the future. So if you block these two areas of wastage of our energy, we will be effortlessly in the present. To remain in the present, no efforts are required. Suppose I ask you, 293 days before, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, what you were doing? The first problem will be, count 292 days. Last. Therefore, Natu Vrutha Vakyam Samucharyata. Many people ask this thing. One lady, was, she was eating my head. She must have been non-vegetarian last night. So, Swamiji, you have to tell me now. Please. Because I am so much benefited because of you. I want to know something about you. I said, okay, no doubt. When I ran away from the jail, where I was imprisoned for murder, then I could not uh, hide myself. Therefore, I became a Babaji. Swamiji, why are you telling like this? I said, how can you say that this is wrong? You don't know anything, isn't it? So this is what you asked my past. See, friends, this is the simplest spiritual practice. Then, Auda Sinyam Abhivsitam Janakrupa. See, we have to remain indifferent to everything in this world. And 
Naishturya Musrujyatam, accept everything as it comes. Up to here we have seen. Now the last touch. First, Ekante Sukamapsatam. Spend time with yourself. Happily. Without talking to yourself. Without YouTube, WhatsApp, Facebook. Give it a try. Instead of observing that funny kind of, uh, um, you know, spiritual practices, um, I don't eat food on Monday. What do you do? I eat at night. Day I don't eat. Don't get lost. Badia khao. Eat nicely. Enjoy life. Try only this one. See? Ekante Sukhamapsatam. If we are bored of our own presence, what a solid bore we will be. How can you get bored of yourself? One person reach the other person. Uh, Gupta ji, what is happening? Yeah, I am busy in the morning. But how come you dropped today early morning? No, yeah, I was getting bored. Who came to bore you? No, I was alone. You can imagine. When a person gets bored of his own, what is solid bore he must be? His condition is like that man I told number of times. He went to the doctor and said to the doctor, Dr. Saab, I snore so loudly at uh, it in, in my sleep that because of my snoring, my sleep gets disturbed. What should I do? Doctor said, go and sleep in the other room. We are fed up of ourselves. Ekante Sukhamapsatam. Practice this. And this can be practiced. Why we are disturbed when we are alone? We are worried about the future. See? About future, that our attempt is to solve the non-existing problems. Problems are not there. We ourselves create. One elderly gentleman asked me, Swamiji, marne ke baat kya hota? I say, people are happy around me. Thank God, God. No, no, no. What happened to us? I said, when you are alive, has anything happened? <laughs> when you are alive, nothing has happened. After death, also nothing will happen. Because you are nothing. What do you think yourself to be? See, friends. Therefore, practice this. Try with little, uh, you know, time. And when, morning when you get up, this is very important thing. When you get up, where from you have come out of deep sleep? In deep sleep, you are nobody. Before you become somebody, complete your spiritual practice. So, as a nobody, you woke up. Thereafter, finish your morning ABCD, sit quiet. And this simple thing, do not talk to yourself and listen to silence. But don't go to sleep. Because you are nobody, you have no reference point to think about. When you are mother, father, brother, husband, wife, you have got a reference point to think about. When you are nobody, no reference. In deep sleep, we are nobody. No thoughts, no worries, all happiness, loud snoring. Try to snore when you are awake. No, no, how can I snore? What people will tell? Because I am somebody. Ekante Sukhamapsatam. Then second thing, Paratare Chetas Samadhi Yatam. So the possibility is when you are quiet, we have trained our mind only to remain in extremes. To be an extremist is very easy. Either eat or eat, eat or eat. 
or don't eat at all. It's not a big deal. Bhagavan says, Yukta hara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu yukta swapna vavodasya yogo bhavati dukkaha. Dukkaha means destroyer of the miseries. When yukta hara viharasya have moderation. See? Therefore, eat nicely three times a day, but eat little, little. The other day, I was somewhere, and uh, this happened in Washington, D.C. Very lovely food was prepared, different dishes and all that. So, as usual, I take on my own, so I took a little bit, and there was one elderly gentleman. So, how many you? Only this much? See how much I have taken. I said, you are elder than me, so you require more food. I am younger, so I am taking food. But why you don't take such a lovely food? I said, look here. You get such a lovely food once in a blue moon. I get it every day. See? That is the benefit of becoming Babaji for good food. Therefore, don't be extremist. And for that, when you are not extremist, then you will not be disturbed. About what? Oh, today is Monday. I should have observed fast, but I have taken food. One day, whole day gone. Don't do that. Relax. Thereafter, Ketaha Samadhiya. Paratare Cheta Samadhiya. So, let the mind be brought back to consciousness. Be attentive. How do we do this? Right now, not uh, pending. If we give importance to the colors and forms, we go away from ourselves. Now, learn, understand. Whatever may be the color, yellow, red, green, blue, it has no impact on the vision. Whether hundred of you or thousand of you or nobody, no impact on the vision. So, if I am migrating from the periphery of my personality to the center, what I have to do? I have to first of all not be too choosy about the things in life. Give yourself zero choice. You have discarded the world, you have come to your sense organs. First step. Second step, let us not be the slaves of our own sense organs. Santa Ganeshwar Maharaj tells, control only one organ. That will help you a lot. And that organ is tongue. Tongue is two in one. While talking, it is called as jiva, And while tasting, the tongue is called as rasana. The two in one. Control this. Whatever comes in front, enjoy it. But if that is not there, I will not eat the food, then you are having a problem. See? So give yourself minimum choice. And then second organ is talking. Don't talk unnecessarily. When this is done, then the mind is slowly withdrawn from the sense organs and we have come to the mind. Be attentive. How the mind expresses? Mind expresses as speech. Water and ice. What is water and ice? Water is without any shape. Ice is with some shape. Yet both of them are water only. In the same manner, mind is without any particular form. Nirguna Nirakar. But the speech is with the form, with the shape. So when we don't talk, ice is dissolved in the water. When we don't talk, the speech dissolves in the mind.
all our interactions with the world are through words. And therefore our Maha Mantra, Deko Suno, Mat Bolo. Deko Suno means you are in your sense organs, but you are not reacting, so you are in your mind. So seeing is happening, but seer is not born. Because seer is not born, there are no reactions. See? So we come to the mind, Cheta Samadhi Yata. After having come to the mind, now what is the problem of the mind? Mind is a seed where the likes and dislikes are located. What we call desire is nothing but likes and dislikes, Raga Dvesha. So be very attentive. There is nobody in this world who does not have some kind of likes and dislikes. Bhagavan clearly tells, Indriya Syarthe Raga Dvesha Vyavasthito it is natural that we like something, we don't like something, but do not come under the influence of that. See? And when we thus are no more influenced by the likes and dislikes, then we have reason above the mind and come to the intellect. What is the intellect? A seat of discrimination. Viveka. In this intellect, only the I is located. So I like this, I don't like this. Whole life is propelled by the likes and dislikes. So when we rise above that, we come to this I. Now this I, we inquire. Not what is this I, but who is this I? One day you will click this, that I start playing meditation, meditation. Now I am husband. Now start thinking. So as a husband, you will think only about wife. As a husband, when you sit for meditation, your Anishta Devata will be your wife. But when you sit there as Mr. Nobody, so what is the practice after having come to the Vidyanamaya Kosha or I, remain as nobody. In other words, Spiritual practice is not attainment of anything, but losing everything. Is it not our experience in deep sleep? What do we get? Everything, all our achievements, problems, everything is discarded. Then we come back to our room. Then room is discarded. Then we are below the quilt. And last Maha Mantra goes on in the mind. I want to sleep, I want to sleep, I want to sleep. This I was discarding everything. Till such time this I is there, sleep will not begin. And when even this I who has discarded everything, when even this I is dropped, then even in the satsanga. Therefore those who sleep in satsang, I respect them highest. They have attained. There were two persons sitting in Mumbai, it happened. One was a Dunlop pillow and other was the descendant of Kumbhakarna. Right in front. And in no time, he slept. And the Dunlop was moving. So he was a, in a Khandani Sonewala. He put his hand. <clears throat> and what I see from here, you don't see from there. So after satsang was over, he was the first person to get up and tell, Swamiji, you are awesome. <laughs> and I said, thank you very much, he went. Now the Dunlop came. Swamiji, why did not you wake him up? I said, look here, be cool. What for you have come here? For misery or happiness? Swamiji, look cool, cool. He got happiness. You are still struggling. Why? Because I was dropped. Real spiritual practice is when you drop this I, you remain as nobody. Somebody will think about something. Nobody will think about nothing. 
making friends. Chetaha paratare samadhiyatam. Don't struggle. You, and then you will start looking here, Guru Nanda. Or then open your eyes or close your eyes half. All drama. But how to close the eyes half? Simple man. How many eyes you have got? Two. What is the half? One. Meditation. Bhagwan ko aak maro. Maharaj, these are all cartoons. So, ekante sukamapsatam paratare chetas samadhi yatam. Wherever there are efforts, we are going the wrong way. Those who are hard of hearing, they have to put lot of efforts to listen. Because of the efforts, they get tired. And because they get tired, they don't want to waste time. Therefore, they go to sleep. See? So whenever we are struggling in life, we are going the wrong way. See, friends, if we swim along the current see, of the river, we will have no efforts flow. But if we go against the current or across the current, you will struggle. Therefore, paratare cheta samadhi yatam, mauj meraho, everything is good. Then, purnatma susamikshatam, then ikshatam, now try to recognize what is the meaning of paramatma. See? Be attentive. Earth is one. Then water is one. Then fire is one. Air is one. Space is one. This we understand. Mind is one. There are not many minds. The mind, which is not yet identified with the shape and the form of the body, that mind is functional in deep sleep. In deep sleep, mind has not taken any position of anybody. And because of that mind, the blood circulation continues, the metabolism goes on, everything continues because of that mind. And it is common. And therefore, all the minds have got the same expressions. Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madha, Matsarya. Same, because the mind is the same. No difference. So what is the spiritual pattern? Therefore, give up the many and come to the one. Objects are many. Give up them. Hold on only to one. Sound, Shabda. Then, sounds are many. Give up many, come to the one. What is one? Silence. This is the meaning. Purnatma susamikshatam. There are no differences. We have to recognize this. There will be Perception of otherness, but there will not be recognition as somebody else. Like the parents look at their useless children. They see the child is other, but the knowledge is, is me only. My extension is my child. See? How I learned this, I had told in one of my examples. In Pune it happened. This can happen only in Pune. I was uh, invited somewhere on the way for a cup of tea. I went and they had a granddaughter. That lady had a granddaughter. Swamiji, my granddaughter chants 15 chapter very well. Now to take a cup of tea, I have to suffer. So that baby said, uh, may I get my friend? I said, get, no problem. And they chanted. The friend was far better than the useless girl. So naturally, I just hugged that uh, friend. I said, hey, you are so sweet, wonderful. Grandmother was in fire. 
I saw that danger. Immediately, uh, I said, uh, um, hey, you are so sweet. Grandmother didn't stop there. Pull that child and threw it away. Go to your house. No, I knew it's a question of my cup of tea. So then I hugged that useless grandchild and say, you are far better than your friend. Immediately, along with tea, even it is pude, I got biscuits. <laughs> Today you don't get it. Unless there is a proper graha in your kundali, you don't get it. See, friends, because my granddaughter, the whole samsara begins from there. Purnatma susamikshatam, then tad uh, jagadidam tad badhitam drishatam. Be attentive. When your attention is on the gold, what are the ornaments? It makes no difference. Like when we go to buy the ornaments, our attention is on the name, the form, the design, the fashion. But the jeweler's attention is on the gold. Therefore, we are cheated, he is not cheating. So, tan baditam jagaditam drishatam. Now be attentive. Whenever we recognize something as an illusion, the following things happen. Number one, we don't desire to possess. Number two, we don't try to improve. Number three, we are not afraid. Number four, we don't love, like to possess illusions. No. Now the question is, what is illusion? Illusion is an experience which demands certain conditions to happen. Like the mirage waters are illusions. They require a particular condition to happen. Then only the mirage waters are seen. In the same manner, this waking world is appearing only when we are identified with the body. If we are not identified with the body, see, like Prashant asked me, Swamiji, you had good sleep. Now what reply can I give? In the deep sleep, no time, no space, no object, nowhere. One more homework. Lord homework, I know you are not doing it. Who goes to sleep? Who sleeps? Waker doesn't sleep. He is not in the sleep. Dreamer doesn't sleep. He is not in the sleep. The deep sleeper also doesn't sleep because he is watching the sleep. Who sleeps? He will disappear. Therefore, Jagadidam Tadbadidam Drishadam. Don't give too much importance to this world. This world has always been like this. There is nothing new. Once I was in uh, Melbourne, Ramesh Bhai Oja. His Rama and Katha was going on. We happened to cross somewhere. He said, Swamiji, I please come to our uh, satsang. I said, okay, I went. So his asana was there, one asana was given to me. Swamiji, you speak something, address. He said, Maharaj, what are you talking? What is the subject? He said, we are talking on Rama and. Uh, okay, I'll talk on Rama and. So they are not confused. And uh, how much long? Because once I start, you have to stop me. Yeah, well, 10 minutes. So I spoke for 10 minutes. Conclusion. You all have studied Ramayana, Ramayana, Ramayana. I don't know what you have learned. What I have learned, I am telling you. Yesterday also I told you, spiritual practice is what you have learned from your experience. If you have not learned, you are leading a mechanical life. Whenever you do anything mechanically, the charm of your life goes away. Many people, sincere, walking the spiritual path, but there is no charm in their life. Na sukha karta hu, na gilla karta hu. Are A spiritual speaker should be uh, such that anybody looks at him, gets inspired. This is what happens after studying Gita. Better this is. Because we have not learned from our own experience. 
we have to learn from our every experience of life. And once you have decided this, then you will see life becomes very simple, not difficult at all. Purnatma susamikshadam jagadidam tad baditam drishyatam. This world has always been like this thing. There is nothing that we can improve or create. Hold on to this principle. Learn, learn, learn from every experience. So when we see how many things we are attracted and if you are learned, you will come to this conclusion. Human mind cannot remain attracted towards the same thing or a person or a place or a job for infinite period of time. Learn. So in that Ramayana, what talk I gave, I said, I'll tell you what I have learned from Ramayana. I said, Ramayana tells that even if your son is avatar of Narayana, Bhagwan Ram was the avatar of Narayana and the father was um, Dasharatha. So even if your son is Ram and you are Dasharatha, Dasharatha died because of Rama. So when the son is Narayana's avatar, this is the tragedy the father has to go through. Your children are Kabutar. What do you expect? Swamiji, you are straight? I said, yes, I am not crooked. All those who become miserable because of children are that they are responsible, not the children. See, children are born through us. They are not born to us. Many of you have got properties for renting out. Property may be yours, but the Tenant who is staying there, what will be his lifestyle? Do you have any control over that? No. In the same manner, we only produce the bodies. The embodied is different. The same couple, four children. Eldest one, calm, quiet, studious, contemplative. Second, leader type. Third, business type. And fourth, government servant. Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. Out of the same factory, these four fellows have come. Face why they will be same. See, friends, and when these difficulties come to you because of your children, remember, it is God's grace. So you are no more um, entangled with them with attachment. Then, now the life's ultimate to be fulfilled is let the divinity express through us. This is the meaning of studying and learning from the scriptures. In Bhagavad Mahapurana, there is a story. There was a king, Rishabdev. He ruled for 10,000 years the earth without any enemy, etc. And after 10,000 years, he went to the forest, gave up everything, gave the kingdom to his son Bharat, after whom India is referred as Bharat, and there he did tapasya and merge in the infinite. Now when this story we hear, we analyze in a wrong way. How can there be 10,000 years of kingdom? That is not the purpose. What is the moral of the story? What we call technically as the Tatparja Nirnay, moral of the story. That we have to understand. The moral of the story is, even if you rule the world for 10,000 years, yet you cannot have fulfillment in life. Fulfillment is attained only when you come back home. Not to India, wherever you are. Be wherever you are. At peace. One of my friend's son, in uh, um, Australia, 
I asked him. I said, hey, do you go to India? Yes, Swamiji, we go every year. Tell me something which I do not know. He said, so simple. When we go to India, we talk about Australia. When we are in Australia, we talk about India. What a disgusting life. Friends, you are here. Remain here 100%. You will never be miserable in life. Otherwise, back home, when we were small, we used to climb on the tree. Here, there are no trees. Yes, Khamba is... Climb on the Khamba. Don't do that. Live in the present, wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100%. Be friends. All the time, living in the past. Therefore, Tadbaditam drishyatam. So what is the moral of the story? Moral of the story is all the difficulties that we have, they are provided to us, tailor-made difficulties, so that we withdraw from the world. And when you are withdrawn from the world, then we will understand the meaning of this thing, that we are the most unwanted furniture in this world. When we were not in this world, nothing was lacking. When we will leave this world, nothing will be lacking. If you don't trust, go and see. So when our earlier absence and later absence makes no difference, what difference it is going to make present? I have done so much for my children. Who needs whom? Parents need the children or children need the parents? When you guys don't get children, run from pillar to post. Friends, therefore, withdraw. Enough is enough. So, Purnatma Susamikshatam Jagadidam Tad Badidam Drishatam. When this is said, do not misunderstand that you should become a sannyasi. Don't take my market. See, the real sannyasi is you are very much in your own place, but you are not entangled with any relations or any possessions. These two words I told you. Possessions, sukha kachra. Relations, gila kachra. Kachra is meant for throwing away. Don't keep on accumulating. So, jagaditam tad baditam drishyatam. So, to get rid of this world, the only way is that it has to be recognized as an appearance or illusion, not real. That is the purpose. Then, prakaram, prakaramam pravilapyatam chiti balad. Now, there are three karmas which are told in our scriptures. Sanchita karma is accumulated. Then, agami karma, whatever we are doing in this life, the result will get in the next life. There is agami karma. And prarabdha karma, because of which we have taken this body. This is when you accept yourself to be a soul or a jiva. So time being accept. Now we cannot change our past. We have to go through the present. There is no option. Prarabdha means what? It has already started. Like you take a bow and arrow and shoot an arrow and when the arrow is shot, you can't hold it halfway. No, 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 I'm so sorry. No, it's gone. Exactly the same way. With whatever may be the reason, we are in this body. Now from here, we have to start. First of all, get rid of this terrible thing called as karma, karma, karma. Karma is action plus sense of doership is karma. See friends, this is very important. Shariram kevalam karma kurvan napnoti kilvisham. Bhagavan says, when we take food for maintaining our life, karma is not created. So, what are you doing? I am eating food. It is not karma. Because it is required for the body, you have to eat. But while eating, I want only that type of food or else I will not eat. Karma is born. Meaning, karma is what? Whenever... Action is associated with doership, karma is born. This example I have given you a number of times. 
when I take food, normally they give me food first. Swamiji, first you take. So if you survive, then we will take others. I am a universal guinea pig. What they cook and what they give, God even doesn't know. So, now I am accustomed to that. So, I was sitting and took the chapati, made a chamach out of it, went to the dal, nothing came out, then sabji and all that, and made a bite for me. And when I was taking it near my mouth, all those Mahamayas who were standing there in Vivekananda posture, their mouth started opening. Tadatmya. And the one whose mouth opened wide like a crocodile, I said, Amma, please come. So she came. Before I take food, I offer it to Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Today you are my Bhagavan Sri Krishna. So she ate that. And after everything was over, then uh, I was sitting and she was crying, Swamiji, what will happen? I said, what is, nothing will happen. You know, today is Ekadashi, you gave me rice chapati. Now what will happen? I said, go to hell. So be attentive. When I have eaten food, karma is born. When the food goes in the stomach, do we have the notion, I am digesting the food? And therefore, if there is a constipation, Mahapunya. If there is a dysentery, Mahapap, no. See, Shariram Kevalam Karma. Therefore, what is Karma? Karma is this association of doership. This is what in the second chapter of Bhagavan Krishna says. Karmane Vadikaraste Ma Phaleshu Gadachana Ma Karma Phala Hetu Bhuhu. Don't become the cause of creating Karma Phala. Karma fall is created when action is associated with doership. Then what to do? Yad yad karma karo mi tattatakilam shambho tavaradhana. Then how to do that? Whatever we are doing, do it for a time pass. Like I am talking here. For what? I don't expect you should improve. If you improve, where will I go? Continue. Then why I am talking time pass? Without that, who will give me food? See, friends, prakarma pravilapyatam. Therefore, old habits are to be given up. Prakarma. And the purpose is when action is without doership, it is we are living in divine. When action is associated with the doership, we are the jiva. So, prakarma pravilapyatam. Chiti balad na api uttarehi shlishtatam. Chiti balad with proper understanding. Now this is most important thing to know. See, all problems are born because of wrong thinking. Correct your thinking. Problems are never solved. They are dissolved. Find out problem. There is no problem anywhere except in our process of thinking. Very simple, friend. It's not difficult. The more we think about and what is the moral of the story, when you study the scriptures, keep this Tatparja Niranay as a reference point. When something we hear, read, what for it is told? Scriptures are studied for changing our vision. <coughs> when the vision changes, our interaction changes. When our interaction changes, our uh, experience changes. When experience changes, the quality of life changes. One youngster was going on a motorcycle and there was a girl going in front of him. So he wanted to go and flirt. So he went sound and stood in front of her and wanted to say hi. From back side, she was looking like a beautiful girl. From the front, when he saw, above the neck, 82 not out, and below, hanger. Will he say hi? Hi, hi. Double hi. Because vision has changed. He went with a view to flirt. But when he saw, he's an old lady. Everything changes. 
in the same manner when you look at the world as bad your experiences will be bad good experiences will be good the purpose of study is only this change your vision and for changing the vision only we go to satsang there is no other purpose satsang this also i told you number of times we do not give you anything no ashirwad no touch method bhagwan krishna you know by his sankalpa he lifted all the citizens of mathura and transported them to dwaraka which he has created with his sankalpa in a fraction of moment such a yogeshwara krishna why he has to talk 17 chapters of gita he could have told arjun matta chik okay no that is the wrong way correct yourself and correction in thinking so when we the study the scriptures don't get carried away by the stories in a wrong manner catch the purpose what is the moral of the story moral of the story one example i'll tell you there was some place i was giving a talk and in that talk i made this point by this story that infinite cannot be comprehended by those who are caught up in small little things so to make this point i told a story there was a fish which came from the ocean and landed in not landed watered in a well and there was a frog in the well and that frog saw somebody new has come hey who are you i am fish what is fish i am me okay where from you have come i have come from ocean now that frog in the well has never seen the ocean what is ocean ocean is water how much water the frog is small hand this much water frog cannot think big he said no much more this much no this much no then he took a leap within the waters this much no he got frustrated angry and out of sarcasm he jumped from wall to wall diagonally do you mean this much the fish has a problem he doesn't have a neck so he cannot say like this so he wagged his tail no baba then how much come with me they went to the ocean now the fish is asking tell me how much is the water the frog became silent when i told this story through an elderly person very simply sincerely na he said no swami ji uh, i have got a question normally i don't entertain but that he was so innocent he said no very old man swami ji how the fish went to the wall well and in which language they spoke you could laugh i could not laugh he was a elderly person said he i said babu ji uh, the fish went by king fisher <laughs> king fisher lifted it and dropped him there ah. the what was the purpose of the story moral of the story a person who is lost in finite can never think of infinite therefore be attentive sounds are finite shri ram shri ram shri ram shri ram is there a sound make silence as the object of your experience shri ram shri ram shri ram now 
we will analyze this experience. When you are hearing Sri Ram, your mind is associated with your ears. Silence cannot be heard by the ears. Ears can hear only sounds. But when you are making silence as an object of experience, what is happening? You are detached from the sense organ and you are back to the mind. Sounds being many, there will be many thoughts. Silence being one, there will not be many thoughts. Mind cannot survive without two. Raga Dvesha Joy Sorrows Friend Enemy Yesterday Tomorrow So when we make infinite as an object of experience, the mind dissolves in consciousness. Consciousness, ketana, life principle, mind, words, world. This is the descent. Consciousness, absolute one. Expression, Chetana, life. Expression of Chetana, mind. Expression of mind, sense organs, organs of action. Expression of sense organs, sense objects. So we have gone to the periphery of our personality. And whenever you are at the periphery, in that giant wheel, how difficult it is. Come to the center. So, objects are dropped, sense organs are dropped, absence is the object of knowledge. Then, words are dissolved in the mind, mind is dissolved in the chetana, the chetana dissolves in the pure consciousness. You are not doing anything. Real spiritual life is a process of undoing. Unbecoming. We don't have to become divine. See? Chiti balat na pyuttare shishyatam so don't worry about what is past, what is future. Relax in the present. And whenever we are happy, we are in the present. Those who think, they cannot laugh. Those who laugh, they don't think. Therefore, Kiti Balan, be more and more aware of your own divine nature. You don't have to create anything. Then, Prarabdham tuha bhujyatam. And therefore, prarabdha is whatever is due to us, go through gracefully. I wish, you know, uh, other people's children are like them. I imagine, you know, one lady came in Bombay to meet me, morning time. Uh, Swamiji, yes. People are very bad. I said, look here, they are not my product. Don't complain to me. You know what happened? I said, I don't know and I don't want to know. Why should I worry about health, the whole world? You know, my neighbor, she came and gave sweets in the morning because her son came in the merit list. Now, what is wrong in that? I said, you know, Amma, are you dumb or what? If my child becomes, I will also distribute sweet to the, my friend. You don't know. I said, okay, then you teach me. She did not come to give sweets because her son came in merit. 
बिकॉज माय सन फेल्ड फोर टाइम्स मेरी नाक काटने के लिए आई दिस ओनली लेडीज कैन थिंक इवन गॉड के नॉट थिंक ऐसे डिड सी चक्कू इन Then she says, "Swamiji, why this is happening?" I said, "Mama, I'll tell you. Okay, if you plant a chili plant seed, do you expect tomato to come to that? Means what?" I said, "Thank God you are not understood. <laughs> Otherwise, you will kill me." So, Maharaj, don't compare. With anybody on any topic, comparison gives a status of validity to something. Can we compare Earth with anything? One is there, only one. Can we compare water with anything? Water is only one. Fire is one. Air is one. Space is one. We are one. When we are leading our spiritual life in the light of what we have studied then only we will be happily living in this world and also happily live this world otherwise again you will be born in the same family in indore it happened many years before there was one child born in somebody's house and the child was too much attached to the grandmother everything grandmother has to do so the grandparents are also very proud of their grandchildren they are only taking revenge on their own children nothing else so this spoil the child no few days month year pass and the child is attached now the child became 6 years 7 years not ready to leave sleeping with the grandmother he will dictate put on only this kind of uh, sari don't put on that sari don't talk to that man no, i want this one she got so fed up so they went to some puja poti and they saw this and they say oh, he is your husband then she started oh, my god all he says is exactly like the husband then swami ji why this has happened i said because you are too attached to your husband and the husband was too attached to you therefore don't be attached otherwise next life don't get too much involved with anybody or anything in this protect yourself from yourself then prarabdham tu hai bujjatam whatever is due accept it cheerfully happily that's it and para brahmatmana sthiyatam and hereafter live as you are a platform where from the divinity is expressing <coughs> the purpose of the bulb is to bring out electricity in the form of light the purpose of human beings is to bring out parmatma as happiness is the only purpose of our life let us be a source of cheer and happiness to all others last thought then i conclude we were conducting children's camp about 250 children this happened again in pune <coughs> many years before they have planned there may be only 50 students how many no more will come i say what are you do you have to do no problem and it happened 250 kids <coughs> so all their calculation arrangements were non plus so they were fighting shouting and all that i said look here be cool we'll have a meeting then i told how will you judge whether our camp is successful or not tell me one by one is already successful i said not like that one by one tell already successful because we planned for 50 250 came successful 2 3 4 5 i said no the camp is successful if our titer of happiness our inspiration remains untouched undisturbed before the camp during the camp and after the camp then it is successful 
Otherwise, we become so frustrated. Then we start blaming others because of you. See, I told you, but you never listen. Oh, no, no, no. Only happiness must be expressed through us. Therefore, Maj Me Raho, be happy. Give it a try and we see the change will come in you. When the change comes in us, we stop blaming others. Those who blame others, they are frustrated inside themselves. Let us be an instrument through which Happiness is expressed. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyonamaha Harihi Om We are chanting every day Rama Raksha. I'll tell you behind this. There is to be, there is now also one person somewhere and somebody did some black magic on her and it was so strong, all medical reports normal, but she was not able to survive. Somebody is constantly pushing her and she is falling down like that. She was so miserable. So she called me. This is happening. I don't know what is going to happen. I am so frustrated. I don't know what is happening to me. I said, look here. I do not know anything. I know only one thing. Chant Ram Raksha. And she started chanting. The same Ram Raksha I sent it to her. She was chanting. And now in her house, 24-7 Ram Raksha is being played. Within 2-3 days, all the problem dissolved. He says, Swamiji, now, I don't want to stop this. It has changed my complete life. I have done nothing. This is the Siddha Mantra. Siddha Mantra means Yatha Adishtavan Sapne Rama Raksha Mimam Haraha Tatha Likitavan Prataha Prabuddha Buddha Koshika. This mantra is delivered by Bhagwan Shiv to um, Buddha Koshika Rushi and therefore it is Siddha Mantra. Whether you understand or don't understand. What do we understand about uh, the uh, pharmacology of paracetamol when it goes inside? But it does work exactly the same way. When you have got unqualified, sincere faith in this mantra, it will solve majority of your problem and you will be able to focus on your divine nature. Give it a try.